Hey, it's Bilal for Bell Media. We're here at the Jazz Festival with some members from Heat who are opening up for the Sheepdogs on Friday at Metropolis. Uh, welcome, Cecil and Matt. How are you? Uh, how are you enjoying the festival so far? Very well, thanks. Thanks for having us, man. No problem. Montrealers, of course, uh, their latest single, This Life, is spinning on the radio here in town, so uh, keep your ears open for it. You can find them online, too, at heat69.bandcamp.com. Uh, so what's next for you guys? You put out your EP. Is there an album in the works? So uh, we've had quite a few people respond to your stuff on the radio and wondering if there's anything else coming. Yeah, well, thanks for spinning it, eh? And uh, we've been pretty happy with the response for the EP. Albums in the works. Uh, hopefully by the end of the year, that'll be out. What's the uh, process for you guys in terms of, of writing? Is there is everyone get involved? Do you kind of piece things together separately, bring it to the table? Sure, there's varying degrees. I mean, a lot of the stuff I'll bring in knowing that the band is going to be fleshing it out. Uh, we've kind of forms more by virtue of a uh, bit of a baptism by fire. We've been touring a lot and like figured out our dynamics so the roles are a little established. Uh, we have a wealth of material and we're kind of just uh, paring it down into an album right now. Nice. What's yeah. the what's the selection process been like in terms of picking songs? We're pretty into to Ouija and Black Magic so we try and summon any spirit, really, and just uh, and let yes them or no. Yeah, yeah, you know. Right on. Yeah, man. All right. I don't know if you're pulling my leg there, but uh, if, if no. you are, I like it. Very serious. <laughs> very, very serious. Okay, well, let's dig deeper into that. Does does any of this spirituality or summoning of spirits come up in the music at all? Yeah, well, songs like Ritual particularly deal with uh, runes in our experience. Uh, druid mythology. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So you guys are like heading in terms of the the lyrics or the basis of of the meanings of the songs. Are you are you? Let me ask you this first. Are you fans of Rush? No. Interesting. Yes. Ah, Matt. Let's go to Matt. What was your reaction when you found out your manager called you and said, "Okay, you guys are going to be playing Metropolis for the Jazz Fest." Uh, I said wrong number and I hung up on him. <laughs> But nice. then I came to my senses and I called them back and said, thank you very much. I'm very happy to be working with you. <laughs> you guys aren't a jazz band, I think I could say that, right? Uh, I'm going to have to disagree with you there. All right, all right. Let's dissect it then. How many players See, you got? jazz. Uh, no. <laughs> think about jazz. <laughs> think about jazz. The thing most people don't know about jazz is uh, you play three chords and a 4-4 four, four beat. Everything's jazz. That's jazz, man. I've been coming to the Jazz Festival for years, and when whenever you see a band that's kind of off the beaten jazz path mm -hmm. make it to the lineup, it's because they're a great band and people need to see them. So um, I'm hoping that's the case for you guys and not just someone owed you a favor. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of both. That's okay. But uh, I do think, you know, more and more these days, people are accepting. I know that I listen to, like, a wide variety of music. Maybe it's kind of a cool thing that a jazz festival would have like hip hop and rock bands and stuff. Yeah. Uh, that's, in my mind, where the musical climate's at. I think it's great to be all inclusive. Absolutely. And it's exciting to be part of that. 